Male weaves and padded undergarments is what we're gonna talk about today and we are going to have a good laugh exposing men's secrets. But anyways, yeah, the men are doing hair weaves, people. Hair weave for men and padded briefs for men is what's running the place. That was <laughs> the last time we talked about padded underwears for the ladies, so we had to expose some men's secrets. One of the craziest things I have seen is when two bleach out black people. I'm gonna say black, you know, them black like Tanto blocks in a man. When I say black, I mean dark skin. Not to say that tan not to say that being dark skin is bad because I love dark skin. But I'm saying one of the craziest things I have ever seen is to see two bleached out people that are actually really black, really dark skin, actually have a baby together and then Mad at the world because the baby came out well, dark today skin. today we're to talk about deception. Deception. So recently I did a video on SoFlow TV about the padded panties that they have now out. The camel toe panties for women. So obviously when guys are looking at women, guys tend to look to the midsection apparently, right? These panties hit the market in Jamaica now and they're saying that the panties are in big demand. One lady went as far as to say that if the something look fluffy and fat up a front, if it look buff, the man them will call to you and the man them will talk to you. Alright, so for those of you who don't know, here's a good look at the camel toe panties. They're all the rage. It's supposed to make the lady look like she has a camel toe up front to get the man's attention. And of course, you know, men are saying that this is deceptive along with weave, wigs, and all that. And of course, here's the infamous padded underwear that makes you think she has a nice derriere. Right? And we know say, how Jamaican man stay, how we say fat pum pum to the world. Not true. So, <laughs> so, it wasn't surprising to see those panties out there. Now, when I did the video, a lot of people came on and they said, oh, that's a deception. And... Them wouldn't want them women wear that and a lot of women came on and said I wouldn't wear that That's a waste of money and all that other stuff that does nothing for your self-esteem all this other thing What kind of attention are you trying to get? Ra 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 and the blah 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 now Following up on that. I could not throw the women under the bus without without Addressing because I said in that video that men are doing it too and one of my subscribers said so Flo, you had me cracking up Dying because you said that the man them are doing it too with them padded brief and them something that I have heard women talk before and the woman never talk about girl I can't wait for sweatpants season to come around you know when the weather get cold a man start wear them sweatpants they must say some of them wear the sweatpants with no brief and the hood just print out so that them can't steer upon that ear of them may I try to tell the woman them say I'm trying to tell y'all that there are so many things out there for the men as well. You're being deceived just as much as you are deceiving. All right, ladies, this is exactly how it's advertised. You see the buff front there? Next time you see it, it's pushing through the sweatpants or the jeans. It just might not be his buffness. You understand what I'm saying? They are deceiving you just as much as you are deceiving them. Let's start, out, let's start from the top and work our way down. So you have the weave, right? Not her hair. Then you have the eyelashes. Which makes her eyes look all seductive when she bats them like this, not her eyelashes. Then you have the fake eyes. So she have blue eyes, green eyes, whatever eye color she want to have, not her eyes. Y'all think, damn, she got some beautiful chestnut brown eyes. When that's not even her eye color. Not to say one color is better than the other, but you're being deceived, right? Let's keep on going down now. She had take some lip injections to make her lip look plump when... Our lip them usually look like this. <laughs> you have, what? Well, let's keep going. You have the fake titties or you have padded bras. Then you have the girdle. The girdle where I got tight up everything I you said, damn the girl that wear small e man on her hip them broad out. No, she have on one tight up girdle will make in ears look small. And then she have on one padded panty or padded underwear where it's padded in the hips, padded in the butt. And now them have the padded panty where the pum pum look fat up a front. So everything look round, padded and proper. And you said, yo, the girl, the proportions proper. And then you carry her home and everything come off. And she looks strange. Right? <laughs> it's the same thing for the men. And 
In the link in the description below, I have left you a video where you can actually watch the process and see how it's done. Because I know a lot of people are going to be thinking I'm lying. No for other things I'm lying up. I'm telling, I'm telling me, I tell for the man them too. <laughs> so, ladies, when time come down the street now, I look for them sweatpants or the front time jeans, I ask a blood clot, I think they're buffy, like him would look big as a girl them talking up. Please remember that. More, um, there is a high chance of him wearing a prosthesis piece or him <laughs> wearing a brief that has extra padding to the front shaped to look as if in buffing her front too so I couldn't throw the woman them under the bus alone I had to come talk it up and said the man them I do it too I went and I did some research and I found a video of the guys getting weave and fake beard so you know the whole Rick Ross, after Rick Ross came out, he made the beard thing popular. Then everybody wanted to have a full grown beard. Some man beard not grow full, some man beard grow like my beard. My beard don't grow up here so I'll cover my whole face. My beard growing a proper goatee and under here so, right? So for me, if I get a full beard now, like a big beard, if a woman love big beard, I would have to go get one of these fake beards. They are out there. And it's called a lace front beard. And the man that put that, the man. So the lace front beard comes looking like this. But then you can style it using a razor blade to make the edges sharp and whatnot. So it looks faded. Amarian was caught wearing one. They found out. And this is what, and they made a big deal out of it. Cause, um, but there's what it looks like. It looks very real. Just like when a girl put a weave in and sometimes you can't tell that it's her hair or not. Put in the lace front beard and a woman can't tell the difference. Same thing for the hair. Here's what the guy calls it. The guy said, we need to stop calling it man weave. That's very disrespectful. <laughs> Don't call it no man weave. It's called a cranial prosthesis. And he has a degree in cranial prosthesis. <laughs> he has a deg degree in putting in cranial prosthesis, right? So the girl asks him, well, I'm, if I'm going to take a man on a date, or go on a date with a man, what if I want to go swimming on the first date? He said, it's perfectly fine. The man can go swimming. The putin so good. Him can go swimming. Unlike you ladies who can't go in at the salt water, go chuck off in at the beach because your weave I got frig up. And don't think it's only black guys doing it too. The white boys do it too. And check it out. That's a perfect one. And that's not an implant. That's a weave. He can jump off in the water. So you will not know. So a lot of you girls are probably, girl, him look goody. They call it the baby daddy starter kit. Or, or, you're probably there with someone who gone ball already, received gone way back around here, so, and he's trying to portray something he's not. You know what I'm saying? And him trick you. And you feel like, and these people are paying from 275 to 1,000 US dollars for these, for this procedure to be done. Right? It's called a male hair unit. Not <laughs> a male hair unit. So, I've left in the description below, a vid, not, yes, in the description section below, click on that and go and watch this video. And there are other videos on YouTube like it that explains to you and even shows you the whole process. Just in case you think SoFlo TV is lying. These guys have padded brief. Same thing, missing man girdle. So ladies, when you see man him dressed up in a suit and everything look right. So here's a quick look at the man girdle for you, you know, tuck in that bear, that bear belly, hide it, make it look like he's slim and trim. <laughs> and then you carry him home, and you take off your clothes and you let them fly up and so. And him take off him clothes and him belly fly out and drop down so. And you can't see him something now. <laughs> just know, say, him just fly him girdle too. Your papa feel your girdle, him papa feel him girdle too. Right? <laughs> I cheat for cheat. Understand? So... Deception for deception is what it is. It's amazing. I actually did not know that things like this existed until I did that video about the padded panty and then someone said, yo, there are other stuff out there for the men too. I'm going to say, all right, man, I'm going to do my research. So I've done my research and this is what we're laughing about today on SoFlo TV. Here's what I want my audience to do. I want the men to come and talk up the things. Are you one of the men that would actually get a man weave, all right, <laughs> all right, I'm not going to call it a man weave, I'm going to call it what he said, a cranial prosthesis, would you get a cranial prosthesis if you were going bald, yes or no, would you, 
invest in that? Would you invest in all the other things that come for men? Like the, the man girdle and the padded brief. Them even put up in the back, you know. Because women look at men's butt too. Girl, he got a nice ass. Women look at men's butt too. I'm, get, I'm getting to realize that women look at men actually the same way how lusty men look at women. So, it's no wonder that these things are selling. But would you as a man wear any of this stuff? And now for the women, I want you to come and talk up the things them to me. Would you encourage a guy, your man, to wear any of this stuff? Get a male weave or man weave or cranial prosthesis as it's properly called. Would you encourage a man to do that? And if you were dating a guy and you buck up on a picture where he is fully... You know you know them old pasta look there where run as a ball, the crown ball off and ugly hair there on the side. So if your man ended up looking like this in I'm real pictures and you to be, I don't know, woman snoop around already. You snooping around his apartment one day when he wasn't looking and you come across this I said, damn Johnny, how about this? But he's standing in front of you with a full head of hair, you know what I say, yeah, and you're like, would would you, if he told you, all right, babes, look, is a weave me have on? Is a, <laughs> would, would you stay or would you go? All right? And the same thing for the buff front, um, something them. If, if, if you see him, I come down the street and that's how y'all met. A night of party and whatever, and wine, grind it upon you, everything. And then you go home and him take off him clothes and again, your leg fly up. So, and <laughs> you're ready to receive and him ready to give and him pull on him something and him goes a pink. What, <laughs> what would you do? Would you still stay in that relationship? Would you still go forward with what you have going on with him? Or would you call it quits and get out of there? It's SoFlow TV, man. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. This one is about deception. I'm out of here, man. Jamaica love to everybody, me say. Peace. I don't know any Rasta. I might have to go fix up the hairline if my hairline start to out like that. You know, John, no. <laughs>